Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below, your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please email me directly for pricing at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Launched in late 2018 for the 2019 model year, this is the Grunefeld 1941 Principia Automatic, the first automatic watch from Tim and Bart Grunefeld, the Horological Brothers of the Netherlands. This watch, which is made in Oldenzaal, is the 1941 case. So 39.5 millimeters in diameter in rose gold. It measures a trim 10.5 millimeters thick. It is 47.1 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip, and it has a rather standard 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Throw it on the wrist. My wrist is 16 centimeters in circumference, and you can see it is a nicely sized dress watch. The 1896 style Grunefeld watches are big, 43.5 millimeters, and while the brothers themselves like that size, they created this, the 1941, to better suit modern collector tastes, which trend toward more traditional sizes and proportions. And I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small, as 13 and a half centimeters circumference and it will easily fit underneath a cuff. The strap is made of buffalo, which is not to be confused with bison. We have bison here in the United States. This is buffalo. It is a light brown with a little bit of a honey overtone. You can see it's thickly bolstered to give it volume. There's a monotone stitch, a curved spring bar at the end. We have a sheer cut side showing the layers of leather. And then on the underside, you can see it is signal orange. And this is a, a brand new Grunefeld factory strap, never crimped nor gouged. We have a matching Grunefeld buckle. And as you can see, the tapered profile of the buckle actually matches the profile of the lug. So there's a handsome design parallelism there. The 1941 case is gorgeous. It has a concave bezel that's slightly stepped at 12 o'clock in six o'clock. It has a lovely curved case band. It has hollows within the lugs and they're fluted on their tops. So there are quite a few different ways that this case gets articulated and it has almost a flame-like surfacing as the light moves across the contours of the case. We have this conical and knurled Grunefeld branded crown and then a dial that has three different steps to it. We have the outer track, which is your minutes and your hours. Then we have an inner dial, which is surrounded by a polished chaptering. And then we have a small second sub-register, which has its own polished chaptering. There's a lovely frosted, deeply grained uh, silver gray color to the dial. The hands at center are fired steel, alpha style hands. They're fired to create that blue tempered look. Their centers, as well as the cannon pinion, are bright polished. And then we have Precise, faceted, applique, hour indices that are detailed right down to the level of their flanking facets. You can see every side of each of these indices is precisely contoured with a sharp facet and mirror polished. These components are created by hand. I cannot overstate just how handcrafted this watch is on both sides, inside and out. Now turning the movement over, you can see it is a good looking movement. We've got four different types of finish on the rotor. And you'll appreciate the fact that the bridges themselves are made of stainless steel, which is incredibly difficult to finish, but the Grunefelds want to show off. They have that Audemars Piguet, Renault et Papi pedigree, and they, in recent years, have still done finishing work for APRP, and it really shows. We have a media blasted or frosted interior to these bridges. Then there's this raised, relieved satin channel along the edges, and then on the extreme edges, there's a mirrored hand-finished bevel or anglage. So the bridges are stainless steel. The base plate is brass. You can see that the shape of the bridges is the same as the bell gable roofs of traditional Dutch houses. This is a 31 jewel movement and while it is modern in its balance architecture, which is free sprung and a full bridge for shock tolerance, nevertheless we have some nostalgic features here including the golden chaton on the train from the barrel down to the escapement. Those little golden chaton hold the pivot jewels and they're a nod to the pocket watch era of watchmaking in Europe. It's a six position adjustment so unlike a chronometer which is adjusted in only five, this watch is adjusted in all six standard position as well as to hot and cold making for outstanding regularity through different wearing conditions. At center, of course, we have a broad ball bearing with ceramic bearings for efficiency. We have both sunburst at the center and black polished screws with a black polished 
circumference to the mechanism. You'll also note that all screw heads in this movement are black polished on their tops, and they are actually chamfered in their slots and along their circumference. We have a free-sprung balance bridge that's actually been skeletonized, so kind of gilding the lily here. This is the Grunefeld showing off. This automatic winding movement beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour, and it has 56 hours of power reserve. It is exceptionally finished, right down to the engine turning on the base plate and the satination on the wheels, all of this 30 meters water resistant. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.